where all our animals are secure. Hey guys, it's me and Danny, and we are here at Gatorland during Hurricane Ian and making sure the park is okay, making sure there are no breaches in our security areas, and making sure that we don't have a flood. So right now we're gonna clean Judy's grade and we'll show you all of our rounds. We're keeping it safe, safety shark. Keeping it safe, hanging out with you guys all night. It's gonna be fun. This is what Mike Heilman told us to do right before yeah. he went home and got in his warm, soft bed. Mike said we also got to get it off this side too. Yeah, you got to get it off the edges. Let's look over here and see what alligators are prowling around. Alligators are always over There's here. Not There's alligator. not one alligator. We no. can't see one alligator. They're doing what they do best. They're dropping down <laughs> below the surface. And we got to get out of here because we got to go clean the grate at the swamp buggy pond and make sure the park is safe. This one doesn't have a windshield. I know, it's a lot worse without a windshield. <laughs> I don't think security's here. <laughs> Do we want to get lost or really lost? We're getting really lost. Yeah. Oh my. Ah! We might be getting stuck too. Danny, good luck. Thanks. I'll watch everybody out here. Come on, dude. Blocking the green. All right. All right. We unclogged it. Let's move this out of the way and let's get out of here. I think, we, I think we surprised them. Oh, we scared them. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, Savannah, be careful. That's an electrical fence. But here's the secret. These are all toilet plungers. But it looks like electrical, doesn't it? <laughs> Come on, Danny. You got it. Let's make it. You need a ride? Yeah. Come on, get oh, you shouldn't have stopped. Now we're never going to make it. Oh, we got this four-wheel drive. <laughs> This thing back in the yes. garage. This whole area is flooded and the storm hasn't even come close to Central Florida yet. Alright, we just gotta do a quick patrol and then see how far we can get. See if it's flooded. Yet. is also the headwaters of the Everglades. But man, it's high right now. Now you can't see to look where I'm looking right now, but right on the other side of all those trees is a big, huge, major roadway. that you can't even hear anything because all of these amazing trees block out that sound. Okay, it's getting kind of slippery back here. And the water level is for sure rising. It's all the way up to the bottom of the swamp wall. Trying to see how far we can get back here without me falling, because I've almost fallen like five times now. It definitely is. <laughs> Nail! Did it? A bird ate it. Probably that wind kicked us off. Don't fall. It's so slippery. It is slippery. No wildlife, they all know what to do. We're the dumb ones. Yeah, <laughs> we might want to take one from their book. Oh, oh, that's the first major issue. We got one down. Now let's go. Got it. Oh, we lost half the ring. That's the thing. Karate chopper. Yeah. Nah. Oh, I think there's thorns in there. 
Joe, did you find a machete? You found two? Yes. Oh, don't worry, we don't need them anymore. We found two as well, right there. Oh! <laughs> I'm a master with a machete. I learned in Cuba, uh, so I'm gonna cut this down, no problem. Don't stab yourself. Whoa. That would have been my toes. <laughs> that you better be careful, you're about to hit me. Nice. Muscles, come on. Yeah, muscles. Get over here. Get the girls that watch the channel some eye candy. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Woo. Good job, Joe. Nice yeah. job. Look, you guys solved the flood. Good job. I wish there was a thing like a towel, but a towel that doesn't get wet. And how would it be a towel? How do you get dry? Like, a, like those things you clean your heart, like a chamois. No flooding so far, right? No, oh, that's Joe. What it is. Joe, you're on YouTube. Do you oh, want to hey. say hi to someone? Hello, YouTubers. No, hi. not really. Hello, YouTubers. <laughs> <laughs> All the birds are sleeping. We got to check on our white alligators. See how they're doing. You going to go see your boy Trezos? Uh, maybe. Hey, bub. You're blocking the door. Oh, uh, front. Get it. <laughs> Where? Uh, jump away. Sounds scary in here, but it looks good. MK is doing good. You gonna ride the store, buddy? Yeah. You enjoying the rain? You can hang out here. I just wanted to come say hi. All of our alligators out there tonight. Raving this storm. It's definitely starting to pick up a little bit. But Danielle's gonna go check on the cappies right now. Make sure our cappy bears are doing good. They're riding it out right now. Oh, you're enjoying the little shower. What'd you find? Look! He's staying hunkered down for the storm. Oh, little buddy. Another one? Yeah. Oh, hey. oh my god. Oh my god, he's so cute. Oh, he's hanging out. So cute. I mean, if I was a raccoon, that's where I'd want to hide for a storm. I know, right? Little trash panda. So even the wild animals find their own sanctuary here at Gatorland, just like those little raccoons! So far, we're doing good. Yeah, we're all right. The wind is definitely picking it's up. It's picked up a lot right now. Rain is definitely picking up. But we still got a half the park to check, so let's yeah. keep going. You guys are doing great. Yep. What happens if one comes running at I'm you? I'm tackling it. 
You're tackling it. I'm tackling it. All right. All right, there's one. So I see two. Two, three. I'm not going to lie. These things scare me. There's a fourth one back there. Four. Five. Five. So we need one more. One more. We got all six. We got all six. All right, we're good. Let's get out of here. These all things right. are scary. Yeah, let's go. Oh, my God. Look at them. Look at them things. So emu actually love to hunker down. They get real low. They lay in the mud. Um, these guys aren't much of runners when they get spooked. Sometimes they'll just kind of go lay in the corner. At least ours do. But these guys have been with Gatorland for almost 20 years, and they have ridden out every hurricane in the last two decades. Uh, so we don't shift these guys inside. What other company could build a whole entire new habitat in a matter of 15 seconds? Nobody. Hannah, are you having fun on your first overnight at Gatorland? It's the best. It is, right? We had so many snacks. I feel like I gained 20 pounds on this. This is Justin, by the way, if you guys haven't met Justin. Justin is the Hulk. He's the Hulk. <laughs> and besides that, he is our safety shark son. He is. So say hello. Justin. Uh, and you're in the police academy, right? I am, yes. You're going to keep us don't, all safe. Please don't ever arrest me. I won't. <laughs> fence is up. Fence is up. We just put a fence up in 10 minutes. Put a fence up. We're like the pit crew of fences. You know? <laughs> Put them up quick. No, I, I just gotta say, Justin's like the pit crew of fences. Well, he is. We had some help. He is the pit crew of Where are we going next? Uh, uh, cow yard. We gotta go check on the cows. Do we need more cowbell? <laughs> I got a fever for more cowbell. Amelia's hanging out her knee. On her lonesome. Danielle, get it away. Get it away. No. That's disgusting. No, I'm going to pet it. I'm going to pet it. Do not touch that thing. Oh, he likes it. Oh, Why? My oh, my God. Oh. Ah! Run away. <laughs> Buffy apparently doesn't mind the rain. The wind's not taking her anywhere. Big branch down back there. I'm headed behind Morton and Dundee's habitats to make sure that there haven't been any trees that have fallen down or broken any of the fence line. What you doing, girly? Hey, Sheila, you good? Dundee! Let's go! Look at you! Man, if that don't scare you, I don't know what does. Filling up quick back here. All right, we just finished up our safety check of the perimeter around the park. Not too bad. Not too bad. Just had the fence down. We are going to go get a break, and we're going to come back out later on and do another one. Yeah, let's we try died together. We died together. Woo! I just got the call from Garza. It's like 3:30, 4 o'clock in the morning right now. Oh my god, dude. We're in the lake. This is Welcome to our island. This is where Lulu normally lays, right here at this corner or Lyle. Yep. Got some branches down. They're popping up though, which means the weather is getting nicer. Look, it's Percy. That's Percy. Oh. One of the rescue. Wow. That's scary. That is scary. They're right there. Woo! Like a bone cruncher. Hey, Chris! Oh, stage is flooding. Carp's down. This is crazy. This is insane. Yeah. I have never seen anything like this. 
started rocking, so we went in and took an hour break. We didn't want to be outside because it was over 35 miles of steam. And we come out and all of a sudden we've had so much rain, it's still coming down. And like we're knee deep right now. Well, I can tell you, no matter how many pumps you have, they ain't getting stopped in the water. Nature finds a way. Nature finds a way, and this is where we're at. Just hundreds of gallons of water. So this is Gatorland right now. We have a big flood going on. Everything is secure. This is the walkway. Here's our main lake. It's all the way up to here. The tortoises are safe and they're not out here right now, but this is where they normally walk around. There's the splash park. This is where our main island normally is, but it's completely covered in water. And this is our jumperoo stage that is completely submerged. Uh, check out this sign. It used to stick up out of the water. I know. Nobody wants to swim. Nobody wants to swim. Get up there. Get up. I got him! to go find boss man there's a crock out over there's there. a crock out yeah right over here we just what it. what what there's a crock over here it's right there there's a crocodile yeah there's a crock right here oh shit that ain't no crocodile that's a crock that ain't funny man <laughs> <laughs> been out here two days walking this stuff. Y'all tell me there's a croc loose. Y'all ain't funny. I'm leaving. Don't leave! I'm leaving. Y'all ain't funny. <laughs> In almost 60 years, we've never had a flood. So when I got a call uh, Thursday morning that the park was flooding, I just, it was unbelievable. It was so surreal. I couldn't believe that we were flooding because I've been here since 1996 running the park, been through a dozen or more hurricanes. We've never even gotten close to flooding. So it was a shock. The park started flooding late Wednesday night as the hurricane was coming through. <clears throat> continued water continued to rise all day Thursday as we just kept doing everything we could to try to slow it down. But Mother Nature doesn't know when to slow down. Uh, she goes where she wants to go. The swamp took us over, basically what happened. Uh, we had a crew of eight people in here that stayed the night through the hurricane. Yes, we had Mike, uh, Hama, Danielle, uh, Je Hannah and Jess with Animal Care, Garza, Danny, Savannah, uh, Justin Garza and Joe Davis in here the night of the storm and the next day after, man. Give those people a round applause. <laughs> and for the next five days, it was just that eight people in here patrolling the park because we had water, standing water throughout, had concerns of electrocution, because uh, all of the buildings, some there might have been some power in the water, so we were systematically going through and killing the power throughout the park and making that safe. <clears throat> we were watching all of the animal exhibits, uh, which the water never got over the fences in the animal exhibits. All of our animals stayed where they were supposed to stay, thank goodness. Even if the water had risen uh, above the animal exhibits, we have an eight foot fence that surrounds the entire park that never went underwater, never even got close to going underwater. And so if we had lost an animal from an exhibit, it would not get outside the perimeter of our park because of, of our, our secondary fencing. Every time we have one of these disasters, the way we recover from it is we make a priority list. And here's what we've got to do to get to where we need to be to get this park back open. The first priority through every disaster that we've been in through is take care of the employees. Last week, uh, we went ahead and, and we, we went ahead and paid everybody for their scheduled hours, up to 32 hours. And, uh, you know, it's, 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 uh, you know, 
We want to keep their head above the water, even if Gatorland was below water. Uh, we take care of our employees. This is our business. That's bad. But at night, we go home to our homes. And those of you that's got your homes flooded, uh, you know, come talk to me. Let us know. Let me know what's going on there. And, you know, we'll, we'll see what we can do to try to help you out there. You know, that's uh, uh, that's worse. But there's portions of our community in a lot worse shape than we are. We're blessed once again. Today, we got all of our employees back into the park. They have assigned duties in their areas. Uh, we've got them all safety equipment, and gloves, and masks, and we're going to start cleaning up. Nick, what's your team doing back here? Oh, we're just cleaning up. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're volunteers. It looks like y'all having a party. <laughs> Every time we've gone through a crisis, Orlando, Central Florida, man, I'm going to cry. I'm getting goosebumps. Orlando and Central Florida residents come pouring into Gatorland. They come in, they support us. That is honestly what has saved us for every disaster that hits this park. I have no doubt that the people in this community that we are woven so tightly into the fabric of this community with them, they'll come out, they'll support us, they'll save us. That's how you help a business recover from a disaster. Our, our heart goes out to all of the people that support us and love us around the world, and we love them back. But I've been through a few things with this man, and he's always there. And without a good leader, none of us could withstand what we're withstanding. He's a great inspiration and he's what's keeping us all going. And I think everyone in this audience would agree with that. So oh man, we have been through some crises in our time. We went through a fire and survived. Thank you for all the support and prayers. We love you guys. Cheer it up! Yeah!